Just a quick heads up on how to be able to take care of a mirror that's seen better days. This absolutely stunning mirror here has seen all the happiness and all the joy and all the sadness of any one household at any one time. But over the years, unfortunately, due to the handling, things like this beautiful cameo and its trim get broken. As you can see, the trim is broken around the edges here and on the outside as well. What we found that is that if you look around this side, you will see the original banding. Now what we need to do is to copy that. So we take some plasticine. This can be picked up in most craft shops or children's hardware stores. And what we do is we get the plasticine and we press it in hard, covering all of the molding itself. And then we peel it back slowly and it should leave an imprint on the inside, as you can see. What we do then is we get hold of some plaster of Paris. We pour the plaster of Paris into the mold. And then when it's kicked out, it creates an exact mold from the outside, as you can see, with the inside piece. Now the size being the same, you should be able to just slot that into place and drop it down like so. A little bit of touching up and you should be able to colour it and in no time at all you should be able to fix the mirror with it all so I don't. Now I hope this has been some help to you. I never recommend that anybody does their own restoration because not always competent enough to be able to do it. Find a professional to do it for you, but if you feel like you can have a go, then have a crack at it. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at snowdoniantiques at gmail.com or you can visit our website at www.snowdoniantiques.co.uk Thank you.